Hey guys. Hello. So today we're uh, doing stuff. Stuff. Um, I've been experimenting with using a timer to send clock pulses to other IC chips. Okay. And what normally does that? Well, it depends on what you're doing, but in my case, I would normally be using a propeller okay. uh, to be fire firing off clock signals. So that's something you program, then? Normally, I would, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. But uh, I wanted to go old school today, and I used a 555 timer here, which is just oscillating and sending out a pulse every so often. And it's running through an LED here to the clock pin on this digital potentiometer. Okay. Now we've talked about the Digipot before, it's pretty simple. It has a uh, chip select pin. Mm -hmm. um, the chip will only change its uh, resistance if that chip select is on ground. In this case it's just permanently tied to ground. Mm -hmm. And uh, when it receives a clock high, it checks its UD pin up or down. Mm -hmm. And if it's, you know, high, the resistance changes towards one side. Uh, and if it's low, it changes towards the other side. Okay. So if you're hooked on to, like, the wiper of the digital potentiometer in pin A, and you do a high, it's going to either get more resistive or less resistive. I forget the direction off the top of my head. But if you were to hook to the B side, it would mm -hmm. be opposite. I see. So, you know... It's very easy to switch it to the direction that you want. Now, in this particular instance here, the resistance between the wiper and uh, side B of the potentiometer are over here, and they're uh, controlling the oscillation frequency of another 555. Mm -hmm. So the pulses coming out of here cause the digital potentiometer to be clocked mm -hmm. and it either goes up and down in resistance according to the position of this dip switch mm -hmm. and its resistance is determining how fast this one oscillates. And we've got a little speaker on here so you can hear. Very nasty high pulse. But it'll sweep down, right? Mm -hmm. cool. And we're going to give you a view of this on the scope. So that's what I've been working on for um, that, but this is just a stepping stone to another project. Mm -hmm. Instead of having this control a 555 timer over here, I want it to control a uh, low pass filter in, in an RC circuit. So the capacitance value will stay the same, but the resistance value will change through the digital potentiometer. And I'd like to build that into some sort of a uh, microphone effect. Mm -hmm. So I actually want to build a little box that you plug a microphone into, mm -hmm. and you plug the other side of it into, you know, our recording studio equipment, and you've got this analog passive filter that can sweep up and down depending on whether or not you're stepping on a button or not. Oh, uh, okay. So, you know, just a really cool recording effect that we can use on some songs. It would probably make a good guitar effect as well. Mm -hmm. So any questions on this one? Uh, so the clock pulses, are those controllable? Like, can you control how often they go? Yes, um, the oscillation frequency of the 555 tim timer sets how often these pulses are going to happen, and those are controlled in this case by the resistance here. So you just change the resistance? I change the change. resistance, and it changes how fast the sweep happens. So that's something So I could put, can... like, a potentiometer on my little box right. in place of that resistor and you could change how fast the sweep goes. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea actually. Yeah, really fun. And we've got a bunch of uh, potentiometers sitting around too, so mm -hmm, mm -hmm. good stuff. Okay. Any other ideas? Um, for now, we'll save that no. for, you know, the, the video about the actual thing. Now, 
when you first made this, you actually had some issues with some of the 555 chips, right? Um, my main problem was that I needed a, a diode between the output of the first 555 and the clock on the uh, digital potentiometer. Well, I mean specifically the 555 chip. There's some problem between the types of 555s? No. No? No, that was the problem. This little oh. guy right there. Oh. And uh, J.R.S. Pruitt helped me figure that out. Okay. Thanks, Jason. And... Okay. I'm good then. I think... Uh, Mark Van de Wettering was there that night, too. Okay. We figured that out. It's on the live stream. Excellent. Always lots of fun. Okay. I think that covers it. Yes. So, uh, till next time. Bye. Bye. We post videos all the time, so don't forget to subscribe. And follow us on Twitter at TYMKRS.